CAP Technology, the future of biomanufacturing. This video demonstrates how to transfect CAP and CAP T cells using polyethylenamine as a transfection reagent. If you thoroughly follow every step of these instructions, transfections and expression of your protein of choice will undoubtedly be a success. As a first step, count cells by your method of choice, for example with a hemocytometer. Due to slight differences between counting methods, calibrate your counting method to the hemocytometer count. Your cell culture of cup cells should be started with a density of 5 times 10 to the 5th cells per mil. Incubate the cells under standard conditions. Culture cells until a density of 1 to 5 times 10 to the 6 cells per mil is reached. In a 15 mil centrifuge tube, dilute your chosen plasmid DNA in a suitable amount of freestyle medium. Use linearized plasmid DNA for stable transfection of CAP and circular plasmid for transient transfection of CAP T cells. In a sterile reaction tube, dilute the polyethylenamine stock solution in a suitable amount of freestyle medium. Transfer the medium containing polyethylenamine to the 15 mL centrifuge tube. Vortex briefly and incubate for 15 minutes at room temperature. In the meantime, spin an appropriate amount of cells down as described in the written protocol.
Centrifuge cells for 5 minutes at 150 G. Do not spin faster. Aspirate the supernatant completely, since small amounts of PEM can negatively influence transfection. Resuspend the cells in an appropriate amount of freestyle medium and transfer to a 125ml shaker flask. It is crucial to use this medium at this step since other media such as PEM inhibit polyethylenamine transfection. Transfer the polyethylenamine DNA complex solution to the cells. Incubate the cells under standard conditions for 5 hours. Then add 4 volumes of PEM containing stable glutamine. For transient expression of up to 7 to 10 days, no medium change is needed. The optimal harvesting time point depends on the viability of the culture and the stability of the specific product. Incubate the cells under standard conditions. Shake at 185 RPM. Harvest the cells by centrifugation for 10 minutes at 150 G. The polyethylenamine transfection procedure shown here is a scalable process which can be adapted to higher volumes by keeping the ratios used for small-scale transfections. The protocol we demonstrated here is very reliable and reproducible. However, if you observe any difficulties with this protocol, we recommend you read the troubleshooting section of the written protocol or contact our scientific support. CAP Technology. The future is now.